Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over the brand new Steam application for iOS and Android. Now this is still in beta, however let's just go ahead and give you guys a little look at what you can expect. So the first and probably most important part of this is that you have full access to the Steam catalog of games. So that means you can take a look at any new games, you can take a look and see if they're on sale, and you can even buy them straight from your phone. So to give you guys a little example here, we'll pull up The Darkness 2. And when you take a look at it, you'll see a few different things. So you see a little image of it, you see some information on it, you can add it to your wish list. You can also take a look at screenshots. Now as far as I can tell, there are no videos, so like of course ordinarily with Steam you can take a look at video and you know see what all is new and stuff, but for the most part you can take a look at a couple of screenshots, but you know, nothing all that spectacular. So if we want to back up here, there's some information on it, you can purchase it. Uh, so pre-purchase offer about the game, uh, but if you'd like, you can go ahead and just add it to your cart, and it will add it to your cart, you know, the same cart that you would use on your PC. And if I wanted to, I'd go ahead and just purchase the game right now, which is very cool. Of course, it's not going to play on your iPhone or Android device, but if you purchase it on your phone, it will be available in your Steam library. You also have access to specials, so when there's a major Steam sale, uh, you can just pull your phone out and you'll be able to take a look at any of the games that are on sale, which is very, very nice. And of course, since you can purchase them from your phone, no reason to, you know, I have to try to find a computer or log in or anything like that, pull your phone out, you see some awesome deal, buy it and you're good to go. You can also pull up the menu and take a look at some more information. So for example, if I want to pull up my profile, I can take a look at it right here, take a look at some information, some games I've recently played, and funnily enough, you can also pull up screenshots. And like I said, this is still beta, full uh, under construction GIF and all, uh, but you can take a look at screenshots, videos, and that kind of thing. Uh, also, if you want to back out here, we can take a look at some friends. Now, I won't do this just because I don't think that my Steam friends would be too happy if I showed all their usernames and whatnot, what games they've been playing on YouTube, but you do have access to friends, groups, friend activity, and you can also pull up chat. So if you want, you can go ahead and chat with any of your friends who are online. Uh, finally, there's also Steam News. Nothing particularly amazing here. You can take a look at announcements, uh, press releases, and that kind of stuff. And finally, you do have a couple of settings down there. Steam for iOS and Android is available right now, however it is in an invite only beta. So you can go ahead and download the app, however as soon as you try to log in it will say that you need to be invited to the beta. However go ahead and do that anyway, that does add you to the list so that you may be able to be invited a little bit later. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.